All right, coastal communities in Nassau County dealing with high tide and relentless rainfall. The already saturated ground is having to handle even more precipitation. Joining me now, Nassau County Executive Bruce Blakeman. Mr. Blakeman, thanks for being with us. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, so you eyeing a uh, early morning high tide right there, and where do things stand right now from what you're hearing? And see. Yeah, so uh, yesterday we had winds gusting up to 60 miles an hour. We had uh, a downfall of over two and a half inches of rain and we had some flooding in certain areas uh we had some coastal erosion uh there was some damage to some people's docks and uh, bulkheads uh we had a few power outages but by and large everything is pretty much back to normal this morning uh so our meteorologist tony sadiko has actually been out in freeport the last two mornings uh he said there's you know some effects there obviously that the community is feeling is feeling um from some of your other constituents and your residents out there what other places are getting hit and hard the most here well um uh, freeport is one area uh massapequa uh merrick uh, Island Park, Long Beach, uh, Oceanside. Uh, those are some of the areas on the South Shore. And then uh, up on the North Shore around Bayville and Glen Cove. I'll tell you, up here, you know, we cannot wait to finally get to the beach. I know it's officially spring on the calendar, but you got to be saying to yourself right now, with all that water around you, what is going on here with all this rain? When are we going to start seeing some warmer temperatures and some sunshine? Well, there there is a silver lining. It was not snow, so yeah. we can... We, thank, we can be thankful for that. Yeah. Uh, Bruce, a lot of the residents there and a lot of the business I know that we've heard from, you know, talking about climate change and having to fight against climate change and whatnot, um, saying that they've been, you know, either forced to, to close or adjust due to the, the inclement weather. What are you hearing from some business owners right there as far as infrastructure changes that need to be made? It's something we talk about, you know, in New Jersey a lot and down on the Jersey Shore. Uh, but what are you hearing? Well, uh, using Freeport for an example, uh, their mayor, Mayor Kennedy, wants to put some locks in uh, in their waterway to keep back the water when we have events like that because Freeport is prone to flooding. Uh, there's coastal erosion. Uh, we have to constantly repair beaches and, uh, and other waterways. So, yeah, there's a lot that we have to do in government and in the private sector when we have these significant weather events. But um, we're very resilient here in, uh, in Nassau County. We live on an island, we're used to it. And again, uh, we're just fortunate it wasn't snow. Uh, rain events are usually a day and a day and a half. Snow events like uh, blizzards are usually three or four or five day events. So. Uh, we are thankful for that. You got that right. And we do have a silver lining to report as well. Sunshine and warmer temperatures are on the way. So just uh, tell everybody on the island to just hang in there for another day or so. <laughs> we'll take it. Thank you so much. <laughs> you got it. Executive Bruce Blake, Manasso County Executive. Thank you for taking a few moments for us. We appreciate it.